survival language disagreeing conversation language series. For this activity, we're going to disagree on different topics. Of course, if you feel like you may agree at some point, it's all right. But here the focus is on disagreeing. So I'm going to share with you first uh, pronunciation and then we can see some special features about grammar or about pronunciation. Elementary, I understand what you're saying, but for example, I understand what you're saying, but I don't agree. I don't really agree. What about, for example, I don't really agree. What about studying more? Or what about English, for example? Well, that doesn't really make sense to me. I'd like to agree with you, but, for example, I'd like to agree with you, but I have to disagree. Intermediate, I agree up to a point, but, for example, I agree up to a point, but I don't see the point here. <laughs> Next one, I don't know as much about this as you, but, for example, I don't know as much about these, um, sorry, I don't know as much about these as you, but what about if, and you can make this a little bit more complex, what about if we see this differently, all right? Okay, so uh, that's a common misconception. Many people would agree with you, but, for example, many people would agree with you, but um, I don't agree with you. Next one, I wish that was the case, but it isn't, for example. I don't think you've taken into consideration Yes, for example, I don't think you've taken um, studying online into consideration. Just imagining that we are talking about the benefits of studying English nowadays. Next one, I wouldn't quite put it that way myself. Yes, sir, I wouldn't quite put, put it that way myself. And the last one, we don't seem to be in a complete agreement here. Okay, so you have to be careful with disagreeing because Sometimes we need to think about politeness. Um, sometimes we forget that in a conversation process, we need to be as professional as possible. And for this, we may forget to use these. And we say things like, no, 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 that's not correct. No, remember, this is survival language. This is professional language. And it's necessary to be used when you want to sound as professional as possible. All right. So I invite you to embrace these structures to be used in your communication process. Let's see if we have some features for pronunciation here. The first one, I understand what you're saying, but OK, so. No problem. Sometimes the T is very strong, so we need to reduce it a little bit, all right? Next one, I don't really agree. What about? So here, I don't agree. I'm reducing the T once again because it's a very strong sound. I don't really, I don't really agree. What about? Now, after what about, uh, you need to use, for example, uh, a noun. You can use a verb with ing. Don't forget that, all right? Okay, next one. Well, that doesn't really make sense to me. Be careful because it sounds very rude, <laughs> all right? So you need to be careful when you use this one because it's very strong. I'd like to agree with you, but this is wonderful because first you retake the idea, you appreciate what the other person is saying, but then you say, no, I don't agree with you. So I'd like to agree with you, but, and here you can use a sentence. I don't agree with you. Next one for intermediate, I agree up to a point, but this is like gradual, like you're trying to give the other person the benefit of the doubt, but it's still you're not convinced. So you can use this one. I agree up to you. Um, I agree up to a point, but there is something I don't understand, okay? So here you can use a sentence just to continue with that, with that conversation. Next one, I don't know as much about this as you, but I think this is wonderful. Sometimes we, we don't know about topics, we don't know, so we're not sure. So before we say something, before we agree, before we disagree, it's, it's better to assume in a professional way that we don't have the expertise about this. So you can say, I don't know as much about this as you, but, and then you give your opinion. I think, I believe, okay? So here, actually we can give opinions, which is wonderful. 
Very good. Okay, let's continue. That's a common misconception. All right, here uh, you use this if you want to say that usually people believe something works in a way when in fact it doesn't. Many people would agree with you, but I like this one. Yeah, so if you if you feel like the other person is wrong, but he's not the only one, because maybe the topic is a topic where a lot of people may, for example, agree, you can use this one. Many people would agree with you, but, and then you can give your opinion, you can say, I don't agree, because, okay, so you can give more ideas. Remember, this is all about ideas. Now, for advanced, I wish that was the case, but here is, this is, a, I mean, here you're going to share a strong argument. Sometimes when you disagree, you need to have arguments. Some of them may be like very strong because you want to just prove uh, your point of view, for example. Okay, so I wish that was the case, but, and you continue with your idea. But remember, you need to support your idea with evidence. Next one. I don't think you've taken, and then you need to give that situation, okay? Like that argument that you want to share. What is it that you want to share? I don't think you've taken, you give the idea, and then you say into consideration. Next one, I wouldn't quite put it that way myself. Well, I'm reducing the T because this is strong. Remember, I've been doing this in some situations where I consider the T to be very strong to be said. So I wouldn't quite put it, I'm flapping here in American English, that way I'm reducing the T. I wouldn't quite put it that way myself. And here you need to enjoy the process because this is very long and we need melody, okay? Okay, the last one. We don't seem to be in a complete agreement here. Sometimes the other person has um, his or her reasons, which may be quite strong. And you may also have yours, which may be strong as well. So here what you need to do is just try to um, make a balance and say, okay, so we don't seem to be in a complete agreement here, <laughs> all right? Because at the end of the day, you want to be as professional as possible. Don't forget, practice makes perfect.